when you look at what has built and sustained soil throughout the millennia, it's carbon and it's brown carbon. Uh, it's, not, it's not plowing down green manures and things like that. So the, the, the first uh, idea here is that carbon molecular, molecularly bonds to these, uh, these soluble and unstable nutrients like, you know, uh, think about nitrogen, ammonia. I mean, at room temperature, what does it want to do? It wants to vaporize, right? And so when you molecularly bond it to carbon, you create, you create a, 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 literally a molecular, at the molecular level, you create a sponge uh, that actually holds those nutrients and keeps them from vaporizing. It's pretty cool at the molecular level. Carbon ties down the nutrients and gets them stabilized. That's the point. Next, carbon allowed us to have unlimited storage. With, with, with a carbon sponge, with um, some sort of bulky, you know, carbonaceous material, we could actually stack up the material. We didn't have to go to a manure lagoon. It wasn't a slurry. You know, we could actually stack it up in a pile if we wanted to, a, a pretty high pile. And so uh, that eliminated the storage problem. Next was animal comfort. Comfort. I'll tell you, as soon as soon as we started putting uh, wood chips in there uh, with the animals, their comfort level went through the roof. They were clean, they were dry, they were uh, they were actually attracted uh, to come in and drop more material uh, in there, and it just the, the animals just became extremely uh, comfortable in there. Next is just. As, as that material accumulated, we get this microbial activity. So here's the deal. Nature sanitizes two ways. It either sanitizes with rest and sunlight, which is the, the controlled grazing, you know, moving animals around outside on pasture concept, or it, it detoxifies, it, it, it creates sanitation through vibrant decomposition. So you got two ways. One is rest and sunshine, and one is vibrant decomposition, like a compost pile. Decomposition is, a, is nature's sanitizer. That, that's the way it detoxifies. That way, that's the way it creates hygiene in nature. You know, these animals, they're not, they, don't, they don't have, you know, Charmin toilet paper. They don't have, uh, you know, all these other things. And so how nature sanitizes is with this, with this vibrant decomposition. You can't build that in, you know, in a couple or three inches. It, it takes... It takes uh, um, mass. It takes um, height and depth. The next thing that, that this does, of course, as, as you start having the animals lounging on a, on a decomposing uh, compost pile instead of just raw manure, is that your odor drops off. Uh, so, so remember, the odors are the vaporization of these uh, volatile nutrients that are, that are coming off. That's the odor. That's what you're smelling, uh, especially the ammonia. And so if you tie all that down with carbon, suddenly you have this wonderful uh, odor-free, you know, not completely odor-free, but pretty close. I mean, you could go into our, you know, into our barns and eat a sandwich uh, without any trouble at all. So the carbon ties all that down so it becomes an odor-free uh, uh, place. The issue is big. You know, the magnitude of the issue is, remember, those cows are dropping 50 pounds of material out their back end every day. Now, uh, more weight is actually in the urine than there is in, the, in the, uh, the manure. But the urine is what contains most of the ammonia, okay? And so, uh, so that 50 pounds a day, it adds up. It adds up real, real fast. And, and so when we start looking at a carbonaceous solution, we have to appreciate that this, this, um, this five gallon bucket full a day is a lot of material, not only requiring a lot of carbon, but it's a lot of material to capture. If we lose, here's the point, if we lose that five gallon bucket of material a day per cow, think about that economic loss, you know, just, just in NPK value alone, that five gallon bucket is worth, you know, 30 cents, 40 cents a day in just NPK value alone. And so it's a, it's a great opportunity, 
But it's the magnitude of the, the magnitude of the issue is big, 50 pounds per cow per day. But in all these things, tying down the nutrients, the storage, the animal comfort, the microbial activity, the, the, the odor-free environment, all of this, carbon, we realized as we looked at our, at, our, at our problem, we realized carbon in all of its dimensions could solve all these things. It, it could solve all these things.